Hello, I'm a Bulls student tutor, and we will be talking about how to add and subtract matrices. So first, let's talk about what even is a matrix. So a matrix is a set of numbers that is that appear in a rectangular array, as shown here. And these numbers can appear in the form of rows and columns. So here in this matrix, for example, we have a rectangular array that has two rows and two columns, which contain values. And these are important to know for like the math section in the ACT, and they can also show up on the Math 2 subject tests. Even if you may not learn them in high school, they're very important to know for these. So let's look at an example. So here we have two 2x2 two two matrices where they each have two rows and two columns. So how do we add these two? Well, it's quite simple. So we can add the values that have the same row and column. So if we look at these two matrices, one here has row one is in row one and column one, and three here is also in row one, column one. So both these values can add together to get four. And this can be done for every single value. So negative five and two, since it's row one, column two, they can both be added to be negative three, as seen here, and four, is in row two, column one, and negative two is also in row two, column one. So it'd be four plus negative two, which is the same thing as saying four minus two, and that would give us two here, which is row two, column one. And here, where we have two and one, since it's row two, column two, these values would add together to give us three, and that would give us our final matrix. Now we're, we'll look at how to subtract matrices. So here, actually, we don't have a 2 by 2 matrix. We actually have a 3 by 2 matrix. So actually, this works the same way. And we can only subtract values that have the same row and column. So for this, because um, here we have row 1, column 1, and 1 is also row 1, column 1. So then we can subtract these two values, giving us 1. And the same can be done for each value. So negative 9, 2, negative 9 minus 2 would give us negative 11, as seen here. 4 minus 7, that would give us negative 3, shown here. 6 minus 5 gives us 1. And then here we have 2 minus 2, which gives us 0. And 3 minus negative 2. Now if you, add, if you subtract a negative number, be sure to add, because 3 minus negative 2 is also the same thing as saying 3 plus 2. And that gives us a value of 5. Alright, thank you very much for watching.